today we are going to solve a circuit problem related to source free rlc circuit so here are terminals a and here is the terminal b that means when t is less than 0 then this switch is close to terminal a when the time reaches t is equal to 0 then this switch disconnect from terminal a and connect to terminal b so we call this make before break what does this mean that the switch will complete a new circuit before breaking the old circuit so here the switch will connect to terminal b and form this circuit and break from the previous circuit so this circuit has reached steady state when the time is less than zero and when the time reaches zero then this circuit breaks from the previous circuit and connects to terminal b and forms another circuit we have to find it for t greater than zero so what is this current it this is the current that is flowing here so we have to find this current it when the time is greater than zero and we are given the values of vs that is equal to 100 volts r1 that is equal to 10 ohms in l is equal to 1 henry and capacitance is equal to 1 over 9 farads and r2 is equal to 5 ohms let's call this r1 and this is r2 okay let's move to the solution when the time is less than zero then this switch is connected to this terminal a and the switch is closed so here there is a complete circuit and as the inductor is connected to the voltage and it will act as a short circuit because the uh, in the question it is given that uh, there is steady state when the time is less than zero at steady state inductor behaves as short circuit and capacitor behaves as open circuit as this switch is not connected to terminal b so capacitor is already out of this circuit and we will replace this inductor with a short circuit so we will redraw this circuit here is the resistor and the circuit the switch is closed and inductor will be replaced by short circuit so this is our final circuit with r1 is equal to 10 ohms and voltage source v so then at time t less than 0 we can find the value of current when the time is less than 0 that will be equal to v over r so here v is equal to 100 volts and r is equal to 10 ohms that will make 10 amperes so let's write it here so the value of current when the time is less than 0 is equal to current when the time is greater than zero is equal to when the time is equal to zero because in inductor the current does not change abruptly as we have discussed in the previous video so all these values are equal to 10 amperes now we will move to the value of voltage when the time is less than zero and as we can see that the capacitor has no voltage across it because the switch is not connected to terminal b and there is no closed loop so the value of voltage when the time is less than zero is equal to v0 plus and v at time 0 is equal to 0 volts so when the time is less than 0 these are the two parameters i and v that we have found in part b we have considered time t greater than 0 when the time is greater than 0 this switch breaks from this terminal a and connects to this terminal b so when it connects to terminal b then this resistor and this voltage source will be excluded from this circuit and this new circuit that is a source free rlc circuit will be formed so we will redraw this circuit and here is the current it flowing through the inductor and this is resistor r2 now we will find omega naught that is 1 over lc under root and here 1 over l is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 over 9 under root that is equal to 3 now move on to find the value of alpha that is r2 over 2l and here r2 is equal to 5 divided by 2 into 1 that is equal to 2.5 and so alpha is equal to 2.5 from here we know that since alpha is less than omega node alpha is equal to 2.5 which is less than 3 so we have under damped case using these values of omega node and alpha we can find the roots from the formula plus minus alpha square minus omega naught square under root 
putting the values alpha is equal to 2.5 plus minus 2.5 square minus 3 square under root so we will get minus 2.5 plus minus j of 1.658 so this is equal to minus alpha plus minus j omega no omega d and omega d is equal to omega naught square minus alpha square under root as we know that this uh, response is under damped so for under damped case we know i of t is equal to exponential minus alpha t a1 cos of omega d t plus a2 sin of omega d t we can put the values here exponential minus 2.5 t that is alpha and a1 cos of omega d is 1.658 into t plus a2 sin of 1.658 t okay now we have to obtain values of a1 and a2 at initial conditions when the time is equal to 0 when the time is equal to 0 if we put the values of time is equal to 0 in the above equation then this will here t is equal to 0 so here it will be minus 0 a1 and when we put here time is equal to 0 then this will becomes cos of 0 and cos of 0 is equal to 1 plus a2 and sign of 0 is equal to 0 so this term will be removed here we know the value of i0 is equal to 10 and from here exponential 0 is equal to 1 into a1 and here a1 is equal to 10 so a1 is equal to 10 now we have to find the value of a2 now to find the value of a2 we can apply kvl at this circuit now to apply kvl at this circuit let's take this loop with the current i so from if we move from here positive to negative and we set the polarities and if we move from here plus vl voltage across inductor and then plus vr voltage across resistor then plus vc the voltage across capacitor we know vc is equal to zero from this initial condition where the voltage across the capacitor is equal to zero so put this value here and vl we know that is equal to ldi over dt and plus vr is equal to by ohm's law v is equal to ir so i is the current here and resistor is equal to 5 so 5 into i at initial condition is equal to zero so l d i over d t is equal to minus 5 and i of 0 is equal to 10 that is equal to 10 and here the value of l is equal to 1 if we take this value of l here which is equal to 1 so we have d of i at time 0 over d of t is equal to minus 5 tens are 50 amperes over second let it be equation one taking derivative we can have d i of t over d t is equal to let's take it as first term and take this as the second term so take derivative of first term exponential minus 2.5 t will be equal to minus 2.5 exponential minus 2.5 t and the second term will come as it is by the rule of multiplication while taking derivative sine of 1.658 t and plus now first term will come as it is minus e 2.5 t and we will take derivative of second term that will be equal to minus 1.658 a1 uh, the derivative of course is equal to sine 1.658 t plus the derivative of sine is equal to cos 1.658 t and then again the derivative of this term will be 1.658 so here is the derivative now by initial condition we have to put t is equal to 0 at this equation now put t is equal to 0 so here d of i 0 over d of t this will be equal to minus 2.5 e raised to power here put t is equal to 0 so it will be equal to e to power 0 and when we put cos is equal to 0 and here it will become sine is equal to 0 sine is equal to 0 it will make the whole term equal to 0 and this will make 
the term equal to a1 and here sine is equal to 0 will make the whole term equal to 0 and cos here a2 will also come this a2 will come here and this term will be equal to a2 into 1.658 plus e raised to power minus 2.5t when we put t here then e raised to power 0 is equal to 1 bracket then this term will be equal to 0 because of sine of 0 is equal to 0 when we put t is equal to 0 here when we put t is equal to 0 then cos of 0 is equal to 1 so 1.658 and a2 will come as it is here so i will write it here as 1.658 into a2 we can rewrite it as e to power 0 will be equal to 1 so minus 2.5 a1 plus 1.658 a2 so only this term will remain so let's put the values in this equation di of 0 over dt from here is equal to minus 50 amperes over second minus 50 that is equal to minus 2.5 a1 is equal to 10 plus 1.658 into a2 so minus 50 is equal to minus 25 plus 1.658 a2 from here a2 will be equal to minus 15.06 so we have found a2 minus 15.06 now substitute these values of a1 and a2 in this equation 1 so this equation will become i of t is equal to e raised to power minus 2.5 t into a1 is equal to 10 cos of 1.658 t plus a2 is equal to minus so as it is minus 15 so we will write minus 15.6.06 sine of 1.658 t and this is for t greater than 0 so we were required to find the value of it when the t is greater than 0 and here is its value